Hello, my friends. All right. Today, we've got another fantastic Revit tip for you. I was asked twice this week how to make a line type in Revit for use for like a fire rating that had the text built into it. So that you would draw a line and it will put in the series of dashes and dotted dots that represent that it's a one hour or a two hour fire rated wall or a smoke partition, but not just that, that it also had text built in. And I was like, Reddit can do that. Well, actually, Reddit can't use the line types like AutoCAD does. Now, I, I can't believe I'm saying the word AutoCAD in a Revit video tip, but listen to this. AutoCAD has a line type that has words embedded in it automatically. Revit can't do that. Revit has line types, period. So if you want embedded words, you have to build a family. And I'm going to build one today and show you how it works. Okay, so let me just share my screen with you, and we will go from there. Okay, here we are. Let me just go to the plan. So suppose in this fantastic building we've got here, we've got fire ratings, and we need to show those. You guys can come up with, hey, look at the fire rating plan. Fire ratings, yay, look at the fire ratings. Okay. Fire rating, okay, let's just, what I'm gonna do is simplify my plan because sometimes if you had a view that you're using for fire ratings, you probably wouldn't have all the annotation on for it, okay? So I'm just gonna quickly switch my, um, my view template over to like a color presentation, bam, see? Or I could make a view template that is just for fire rating plans. And that's a different video. I made another a video recently on how to make your own view templates. But um, I just applied a template to this. So this is simplified. Okay, so let's just go. Let's just suppose I have a fire rated wall here protecting the around this toilet area and maybe another one right here for this conference room. But I want to draw a line in my project that represents that, <clears throat> okay? So let me show you how to make one. All right, here we go, here we go. I am going to say file. I'm gonna click on new family. And where we're going here is Portuguese. No, wait, let's just use English Imperial. Here we, okay. The family template you want is right here near the top. It's called detail item line based. A detail item line based means you're not just placing a detail, but you click in two places in your Revit project and it will pull that detail the length of that line. So when you open up the template, it looks like this. And this is a representative line <laughs> as if you had drawn this four feet long. But it's not stuck at four feet. Just ignore the fact that it says four feet. You can draw a line in Revit as long or as short as you want. Well, not shorter than one thirty-second of an inch because then it'll say, sorry, line is too short. You guys have seen that error before. Revit can only handle things that are longer than one thirty-second of an inch. So here we go. Here's how you do it. Okay, if I wanted a line here from this intersection to this intersection, that's where we're going. And I click on line, look at my different options on my detail, uh, my subcategory dropdown. I've got hidden lines or invisible ones or heavy, light or medium lines, that's it. I want a fire rated line, like a smoke partition. Yeah, that's what I want. So to make your own line types, you come here to, <clears throat> Wait for it. I'm going to go to manage. I'm going to go to additional settings and I'm going to look at my line patterns. I'm going to look at them. I'm going to go, hey, if I make a line type, it's going to use the line patterns. So I'm going to kind of glance around and see what I've got. 
These look pretty good. I'm liking them. They come with Revit standard. So let's try to use them. So I'm going to say, okay, I just wanted to look at what patterns are available to me. You're going to see in a minute, we're going to make our own pattern. Okay. If I click on manage my object styles, it lists those same ones that I had earlier. I've got medium, light, and heavy lines and invisible lines. Okay. So what I need is one called smoke partition. So I'm going to say new down at the bottom, new, I'm going to call it smoke capitals. Come on. Smoke. Sm How do you spell smoke? Smoke partition. I'm having a tough time today. Partition. Smoke partition. Okay, I did it. Whew. Spelling is just, it's okay. I haven't had enough coffee. So look at this. We have a smoke partition. I want that to be nice and wide. I'm going to give it a seven line weight, but I don't want it to be black. I'm going to pick a color blue. And I also don't want it to be a line pattern solid. I want it to be a dotted line. <laughs> I'm going to say, okay. So now, I can actually draw a line that, so look at this, when I go to create and I click on line, I can draw a line from this intersection over to this one. And it's like, what? How come it didn't do anything? Well, if I highlight the line, it's just a detail. I need to change the subcategory to smoke partition. Boom. And that's what we're talking about. Da, 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 da. Okay. If that's good enough for you guys, that works for me too. But I think the dots are way too far apart. I personally like them closer. So work with me here. I am going to go manage my additional settings, my line patterns, and the dot pattern I don't like. So I'm going to hit edit. And I'm going to say edit. The dot pattern is going to be, and I did this earlier, 332nd of an inch dot pattern. So I'm going to change this to 332nd of an inch. Okay, so it puts a dot and then a small space. And so I made the space half the size, basically. So I'm going to say, okay. Ready? Okay. So look at that. That, to me, looks a little bit better. So if I want to go ahead and use this in my project, I'm going to load it. Watch this. Load into project and close. It doesn't have a text in it, I know. But let me just show you. Lo wait, I got to save it. You got to... You don't want it to be called family one. I need to hit save, save. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna call it smoke partition. I can't spell it, partition, smoke partition. <coughs> um, and I'm gonna say save, okay? So now I've saved it. And now I'm gonna load it into my project and close it. So here in the project, ah, why does it do that to me? Okay. So here in the project, let's say I, I have a smoke partition in between this conference room and the lobby. So what I can do is go to a, where is it? Annotate, right? And a component, a detail component. Wait, no, what am I doing? Here's what I do. I'm, I'm, I'm just like, Yes, this is how you do it, but you can look at it's listing. It's on smoke partition right now. I'm going to get my face out of the way. And now look at this. I'm going to click right here. I'm going to pull my cursor. Look at it. Click. And it places the smoke partition line type right here. I can also use this line type in my legend and write smoke partition right next to it. But it would be really cool if this line had some text in it to tell people, hey, this is a smoke partition in this, um, whatchamacallit, in this fire protection plan. So let's hit edit on that thing. I'm going to highlight it and hit edit family. If I want the um, text in here, it's hard to latch onto and put a dimension to a piece of text it's easier to latch on to another annotation family. So the best practice about getting a piece of text in here is to go make another piece of annotation family and load. Really quick and simple, watch. I'm gonna say file, okay? 
new family. And this one's quick and easy. Annotation family. We're going to go to generic annotation and open it. Okay. And all we got to do <coughs> right here, I'm going to put a piece of text right here in the center. And look at this. It, I'm going to go to, wait for it, create text. And I'm just going to type right there. S P for smoke partition. Okay. That looks good to me. Smoke partition. Smoke partition. Okay. And now I just put it, I just kind of scooched it around so that it was at the center of the crosshairs. Now look at this. I'm going to load it into the smoke partition family, not into the project yet. Okay. Do you want to save changes to it? Mm, nah. Don't worry about it. It's just a SP. Now look. This SP is just sitting right over there, okay? Now, because it's a generic family, it has an insertion point at its center and it has a, it has a crosshair built into it. So I can move it to this, um, this, this line. So watch this. I'm gonna put a dimension string to it. Let me just show you. If I go from here over to the other side, I can also click, do you see that? The center of this thing you can click on now. And when I place it, I can say equalize. So it is going to stay centered on this line, okay? And I can use a L for a line, go up to this line and look at this horizontal, bam. So now I just pushed it up. So there's an SP that is going to appear on this line now whenever I draw it. So I'm gonna load, I'm gonna hit save, yes. Smoke partition, load it into the project and close it. <coughs> Overwrite the existing version, yes. And now my line has an SP in it, okay? Now, if I wanted, and I've messed with this a billion times. Sometimes people put the SP as an array. So it pop, 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 pop. It writes the SP a bunch of times. I have found that you can never get the SP exactly where you want it, and it's a hassle. So watch how easy this is. If I just bring my smoke partition line like half of the wall and then create another one the rest of the half, I get two SPs, okay? Make it easy on yourself. Just draw little segments of this, and it writes SP along every single one. Look, SP, SP, bam, bam, okay? And I should have actually put the two lines hitting the <coughs> endpoints perfectly. There we go. Look at this. This is a smoke partition. Now, let's just say we need a one hour partition. It has to say one HR in it. Okay, so here we go. Let's see if you can remember how to do this. File, new, family. Okay, wait for it. Here we go. Wait for it. <coughs> We're going to go to, which one was it? Yep, detail item line based. Hit open. We need to create a line type in here. You just, <clears throat> this one needs to be, wait for it. We're going to go to manage our object styles. Again, there's our list. We hit the new button and this one's going to be one hour. Okay. So there it is, one hour. I also want this to be a line type seven. This time I want it to be red. And in the pattern, I'm going to go like a dash dot. And if I say, okay, now I'm going to put it in here. Look at this. Create a line here to here. I'm like, how come that line didn't change? Because I need to change it to, look at that, one hour rated line. So that's good. And I think, in my humble opinion, the lines are too far apart. Okay? I just don't like it. So I'm going to click on, wait, I'm going to go up here to manage additional settings and go to my line patterns. And the one I was using was dash dot. I'm gonna hit edit. I'm gonna look at it and go, a quarter inch gap before 3 16 No, 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 no. I'm gonna change this dash dot to dash dot one like 16th. And I'm gonna make a dash or one, I can change it to one eighth, whatever, one eighth. I'm gonna make an eighth inch gap and then a three, um, maybe a one sixteenth gap, 
and then a dot and a 1 16th gap. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, 8, 16, 16. Okay, okay. Hey, that looks, that looks pretty good. That's not bad. You can see now that there's a dash, dot, dash, dot. Okay, what I'm going to do is put my text on there also. So I'm going to say create. Pre, no, file, new, wait for it, new family. Here we go, new family, generic, wait for it. You got to come down here, oh, to annotations, generic annotation. And I'm going to place a piece of generic text, create text right here in the middle. And this is fire, but no, one. HR, one hour for one hour rating. And I scooch it so it's right there in the center. Okay, nice. Load it into my new family three. And I better, I'm going to actually save that. Watch this. There it is. So what I'm going to do is put it right there. Remember how I do this? Put a dimension from there, one side to the other, to the center, and hit equalize and then align it up to that okay so it's one hour now i'm gonna hit save and i'm gonna instead of calling this smoke partition i'm gonna call this one hour rating okay save and load it into my project and close it and now i'm gonna go to my plan and look i can place it now so if i say remember look annotate a component the last one I just created is in here and it's ready to be used. If I have a two hour, I mean a one hour rating right across there and right up this way, bam. So it says right now, and it worked. I've got a smoke partition here and I've got a one hour rated partition there. It's too easy guys. This is how you get a line to represent your fire ratings that has text embedded in it. All right, I hope, I really hope that that helps you guys and that this, it helps your um, fire protection plans as you move forward. All right, so until we meet again, happy reveting. Bye-bye.